Hey guys, Javino here with a, another quick redstone tutorial for you. First and foremost, I would like to thank everybody who came over from Junkyard129's channel. I know a good 30 some of you guys uh, came over and subbed me, so I'm very grateful for that because I have a small amount of subs at the moment, so that actually doubled my sub count. So thank you. First, uh, er, not firstly, but uh, I'm gonna get on to the tutorial. Today I'll be showing you how to do implies gates, and implies gates are hard to explain without showing you, so I'll just make one here. They're actually relatively simple gates, I just left them till now because they're not as useful as, say, a OR gate or a NOT gate. Now, how this works is the output will be off only and only if this is input A, this is input B. If input A is on, and input B is off. That's the only time the output's going to be off. If they're both on, output's going to be on. If B's on and A's off, the output's going to be on. If they're both off, output's going to be on again. There is a another method of doing this. Well, there's a lot of methods because it's a simple gate. But I find this is the second best option. I, I like that one the most just because it's really simple. Like that. The reason uh, I could ever see anyone using this is because the inputs are a little bit more isolated than that one. But here you go. Here's input A, input B. So when it A's on, B's off, hope it's off. Any other circumstance, it's on. Click so. And uh, if you look into it, the reason this is working is because you got not gate here, and then you got a repeater, or two not gates in a row, right down here. And then you got the torch touches, touching, lighting the same piece of redstone at the end. So this not gate, this single not gate, is checking for this to be off. Or, yeah, and uh, when it's on, it turns off, so it stops lighting that piece of redstone. And this repeater is checking for this to be off, which turns this on, which turns that off, which stops lighting a piece of redstone. And if you if neither of them are happy, then the redstone will be on. The only circumstance I've really found to use this is I built my friend a uh, ten torch combination bolt. So uh, just put torches in a line, and they had to be the right ones had to be on, the right ones had to be off. But uh, I had a kill switch on the inside, which stopped the entire thing from working. And how that would work is you have your regular regular circuitry going through the uh, B gate here, and it's working fine. But as soon as you throw the A one on, bam, it just shuts off. Like that, just stop. It just screws it up from working. And then when you do that, it's working again. So if you use this as a torch or a switch, rather, you can just uh, have a kill switch. It's starting to get dark, so uh, I'm gonna shut her down. Uh, also, if you guys have any requests or ideas of what I should build, like if you want me to build something and you have no idea how to even start it, just send me, like, leave it in the comments, and uh, or send me a PM, and I'll consider it. And if it's a good idea, chances are I'll end up making a video about it. So, uh, yeah, definitely don't hesitate, because I would love to help you guys. But uh, for now, see you.